up that we are, you know, passing out to you today. Uh, we moved on from we moved from health to entrepreneurship, still on entrepreneurship in this last conversation. And today we want to continue with a conversation that we started yesterday. Yesterday we were talking about financial literacy and debt management. But now we want to bring it uh, to the business people, to entrepreneurs. So we're talking about capital and debt management. And for that, we have been joined by the CEO of uh, Naipanoi Limited. She is called Karambu Aso, who will be taking us through her journey it matters this topic karimu sana karambo thank you steph thank you so much glad to have you with us i'm also happy to be here very honored thank you amazing yeah. tell us a little bit about your business so that people understand what you do okay uh so naipanoi limited as she has mentioned mm -hmm. is um meat distribution and supply mm -hmm. uh, business so basically what we do is we bring meats to your doorstep okay yes all right, interesting. Yeah. So now, uh, tell you, you said that you started last year in January, and yes. your journey is quite interesting. Yeah, you went into debt. Yes, and uh, you a little bit mismanaged it, yes. and then you got back from it. Yes, and you even managed to open another bra other branches. Yes. So tell us a little bit about that. Tell us, take us through that journey. Okay. Uh, so Steph, we I. We started the business, as you said, in January of mm -hmm. last year, and we started with one uh, butchery shop, mm -hmm. and um, that is located in Kitengela. Mm -hmm. And then we immediately uh, realized that mm -hmm. there is a need to um, do deliveries because people like getting things at their doorstep. Yeah. And um, so, if I can go now into the story of uh, debt and um, how. <laughs> how that came about um just to give you a bit of background i was mm -hmm. coming from the corporate world i was in the banking um sector mm -hmm. for about eight and a half years yeah so here i am um we are we are in uh, my husband and i have decided let's go into business so i'm the one to i, I decided to take one for the team okay. and so we start the business and um to be honest i did not i was not the kind of person who was business minded you know those people who have side hustles yeah or you know one day you're going to be no none of that was, it was your me. plan completely yes. yes so even moving from corporate to like for me my vision was rise in the corporate you know become yeah. the ceo in the corporate what were you doing in the corporate world i i was in branch operations uh -huh. yeah so i came into the bank as a teller i left as uh, the branch head okay yeah, so you I'm moved from that to something now to business totally didn't y yes. know yes okay no prior knowledge of business um, so that really affected um, a lot of the decision making, mm -hmm. and so we, we'd find that you know because by the time a business is 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 beginning to bear fruit, you you you'll have moments where you have to keep on injecting capital, injecting capital yeah. until the business is standing on its own. But I didn't know this. Like in my mind, this business is supposed to set off and everything is supposed to start <laughs> supposed working. Supposed to get profits very fast. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so by the end of the month, mm -hmm. you'd find that. The, the, it's month end, we've not made enough, we need to pay rent, we need to pay our workers, uh, we need to uh, restock. So what would happen is I would not disclose this to my husband because we went in together mm -hmm. and I'd try to find ways. Now still in the spirit of Miss Independent, I'm used to <laughs> making things run, I'm used to having money in my wallet. <laughs> so I started getting taking these mobile loans taking these mobile loans. So uh -huh. the problem with the mobile loans is that they are very expensive and you have to pay within a very short period of period time. time. So if I can work with figures, let's say if I take, let's say 3,000 shillings, you know, it's a random figure. Mm -hmm. And by the end of um, maybe six, seven days, I have to pay back, let's say, 7,000 shillings. My business has not made Ooh. that ka 4 k that mm -hmm. will enable me to pay. So the next thing I would do is I would take from the next one to pay, so it's like taking from Peter to pay Johnny, and then now you have taking to pay. Taking from yeah. uh, Karis to pay <laughs> Peter, you yes, know. Yes, wow. so that is how we ended up in a very big cycle of, of debt. And that's how I discovered that there are very many mobile alone <laughs> applications in this country. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. Yeah. And so by the time my husband was knowing, we had accumulated debt to a debt of about 200 and something thousand, hmm. which, which really just so, really which was, was really bad. Which was bad for business. Yeah. And then another thing that uh, contributed to us going into debt, it's because I was not very good with managing the funds. As I said, I was coming from a place where I was used to having my own money. Mm -hmm. So here I am. Uh, this business is now my only source of income. Mm -hmm. That time I was... Um, a girl for the sherehe. <laughs> now I'm born again. I love Jesus. Oh, and wow. I, I, uh -huh. I used to go and use that money, the business money in, you know, you having know, fun, having enjoying fun. life yeah. and so whatnot. That's the other thing. You need to separate your money. Have a separate till, a separate account for, for, your bus money. for the business money. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, so that was really, really, really quite what pushed us into it. So at the end of it, um, my husband had to come in and we had to pay from, you know, he's, he's employed. So we had to pay uh, the debt from his, uh, okay. from his salary. All right. Yes. So that's how you recovered yes, um, that from, from debt? Yes, that's how your... we recovered. Uh -huh. mm. So what would you tell someone uh, who has accumulated, a business person, an yeah. entrepreneur who has accumulated loans? Mm -hmm. How do they go about it? Are there other options? Uh, you know, in trying to pay off loans in the best way possible yeah. to salvage the business. Mm. Wow. I, I, I honestly, I think in situations like that, because now for us, mm -hmm. we were blessed to have some you know, a salary that yeah. is, is going to, to take us out of it. Um, there is hope. I'm sure there is a way that you can find maybe somebody, mm -hmm. um, um, because as I said, the problem was that the expense, the expensive nature of the loans I was taking is mm -hmm. what was making them very expensive. So maybe for someone who is in a similar situation that maybe you don't have um, someone to take you out, a, a, a partner who has a stable income to take you out of it, mm -hmm. you can find maybe someone else mm -hmm. who will not necessarily take you into a place of harassment, someone who can probably journey with you yeah. so that you only ha you're only accountable to that one person. So you can pay off using okay. that mm -hmm. and then now try and, you know, slowly um, pay them back. Yes, pay them back. Okay. Yeah. And for you, as you've said, at least you ha your partner w uh, is at work, yeah. is working, so yeah. that sort of cushioned mm -hmm. uh, the situation. Mm. Why would you say it's important, as we were talking before we came on camera, yeah. Yeah. to get into business when you're still in employment? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yes, so it's actually a conversation I've really had with my husband a lot of times. Mm -hmm. And I, I keep thinking if I was, if I had um, started business while I was in at work, I would have done so much because I was working, and I'll give you my, my example. I was working, I had a lot of access, mm -hmm. easy access to facilities, to credit, mm -hmm. but I'd, I'd get the loans and buy household stuff. I'd buy <laughs> speakers, I'd buy person for music, I'd buy woofers, <laughs> TVs. Like, I, if I knew, and, and that's the advice I would give anyone right now, mm -hmm. especially if you're a single person, you don't have re much responsibility. Before the children come in, before any other big responsibility comes in, mm -hmm. you have a playing ground to, to, to use your money, to um, explore, um, see, identify, see where is it that I can, I can put this money and see what it brings back. It's mm -hmm. really, it's, I wish somebody told me, I wish somebody <laughs> told me, I would have done much more. Okay, yes. because that mm -hmm. sort of cushions you even when yes. business goes bad, you still have employment, yes. you still, yes. you know, s somewhere you can depend on for your salary. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. A and mm -hmm. uh, once you you decide maybe to venture out of employment, then you will have been established. You've mm -hmm. had enough years of, of making the mistakes, of learning, of unlearning, and mm -hmm. then now your business has, you know, uh, gained ground. ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. And what is the place of, okay, for a person going into business, mm -hmm. having importance of having a saver mindset instead mm -hmm. of a spender mindset, mm -hmm. because you said mm -hmm. you were spending yes. and you were going to party with it, yes. with the money from the business. Yes. So how is it? How important is it yes. to have a saver mindset mm. and saving your business? It's definitely crucial because if you're starting a business, the mm -hmm. the the, the, aim, the end goal of most entrepreneurs, as I would think, is to grow. Right, and this, you wouldn't grow by just spending. Um, if I could take it back to the example I gave of how I took loans 
to, to, to buy it for consumption, mm -hmm. right? So if money is coming in, you're making profits, you want to see, you want to check uh, where else can I put in this money? You want to put money aside and, and, and just figure out what is the next thing I can do because that is what growth is about, mm -hmm. you know? So make money for more money. Make money for more money. Make money for more money. Yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And as you've put it, you were initially, you yeah. were uh, getting loans to buy stuff. Mm -hmm. So would you say that we have bad debt and good debt? Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. A bad debt is a debt you take for consumption. A good debt is a debt you take for the sake of investment and for the sake of um, multiplication and mm -hmm. bringing forth more. Yes. Okay, yeah. so in business it's all right to take debt as long as you have a plan. Is it also mm -hmm. good to have a plan in how you you're going to pay it off at the end of the day so that you're not left stranded when it gets to a certain point. Yes, as we have seen, <laughs> it is very Clearly. important, yes, <laughs> to have a strategy. You can't, mm -hmm. you can't just take it because it's available. Man, you, you can't. And those guys will embarrass you. <laughs> <laughs> They'll embarrass They'll you. They'll come for you <laughs> mercilessly. Because <laughs> I remember they sent out a mass text to my contacts. Mm -hmm. And like the message was, you are attached to a serious defaulter by the name My. of Uwe. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. I think many people are really harassed yes. by yes. the lend mobile lending platforms. Yes, for sure. You, you don't mm -hmm. want to, to just take money because it's available. Just avoid. Avoid. And even for the sake of self-discipline and self-control, which are very necessary mm -hmm. when you're handling your business money, you want to see that if I take this 3,000 bob and I'm paying back this 7,000 bob, is there a way that I know for a fact that I'm going to, to pay back this money? Okay. Yeah. And it's, it's, you'd rather not take debt than take a, a bad debt that you wouldn't be able to pay. Okay. To pay back, sorry. All right. Yes. What about working with your husband? How has mm. it been? Mm. You know, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I imagine this is someone you're used to. So yes. how, how is he your boss? Because I know he's the chairman and then you are the CEO. Tell us yes. a little bit about that. Yes. So Steph, the journey has been very interesting. Uh, coming from reporting in, you know, corporate <laughs> to, to people you don't know to now reporting to mm -hmm. your husband, yeah. you know, the guy you're sharing the bed with. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of room for um, uh, contempt and lack of seriousness, mm -hmm. which is something I've had to really, uh, because through our communication and through our discussions with each other, I've mm -hmm. had to understand that for real legit, you're actually reporting to this person. <laughs> this is the person who is investing in this business. Yeah. So you need to have that mindset of, um, I have to deal professionally. Mm -hmm. Right. So a, a very recent example is when I was really because of, of I was doing a lot of things at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. I sort of got behind on doing our books for the business. And my husband kept on like, your ways, where are the reports, you know, yeah. and I'd be like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, babe. I'm trying to up on your baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, <laughs> to settle down and settle in. Then I realized I, I you know, as, as, a, as a steward of what God has given you mm -hmm. um, in this place where we are, we, are, we are still a growing company, how am I dealing with this place that I am in? Mm -hmm. And, you know, the Bible tells us not to, to, to despise the humble beginnings, beginnings and mm -hmm. to do everything as unto God and not unto man. Yeah. So this place that I am right now, how am I dealing? Because when God grows us, because that is exactly what he's doing, mm -hmm. I, I need to have been able, to, I, I need to have set the foundations right so that when we are a bigger company, there's that accountability. So wow. that takes me to the point of accountability. So recently I had to, what my husband was asking for the reports, I had to go away. We, I had not mentioned we have uh, another branch in Nanyuki. Uh -huh. So I had a little place that I have where I was staying. I was staying there when I go to check on the business. So I, okay. I went away. I was like, please excuse me. I need seven days. <laughs> so I left <laughs> for get, seven days, uh -huh. left the children oh. and went to do the books because I have a chairman to report to. Wow. So I, understanding that and learning that, it's mm -hmm. been a journey, but I love it because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. it's, it, 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 it bears fruit. Okay. It bears fruit, yes. So it needs you to really take keen uh, seriousness in it, put in yes. the work and the seriousness it deserves. For sure. Okay. For sure, for sure, yes. And that's working out well for you. It is. It okay. really is, yes. Because I, I believe that when you get into a business with a partner, especially mm. w when it's your husband, mm. it, you become you know relaxed yes. and everything yes. and even when you get in business with friends sometimes mm. you, the familiarity spoils yes things yes a little bit yeah. so okay 
um, before we came on board, you yes. were also telling me mm -hmm. about uh, being a CEO, being led by God mm. in, in business. Mm. How is it? Wow. So, I, I, Steph, I couldn't talk about business without mentioning, mm -hmm. without talking about God. Because after, as I said, when we started the business in January, I was still in the world. I was still the babe for the Sherehe. That's but last then, year, January. Last yeah. year, January. Then come May, so now we're in, I'm, I'm exactly a year old in Salvation. Wow. And I'm mm -hmm. able to, I've been journaling. I'm, I'm able to see the difference between January to May 2022 mm -hmm. and then May to May 2023. And mm. uh, some of the things we've been seeing are mm -hmm. um, God just helping us in the practicality of things, mm -hmm. of operating the business. Um, I, I really, I, because I was, I was doing a lot of things for the business, um, I was the, 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 cre the social media person, mm -hmm. I'm the one um, doing handling the customers, I'm the one doing the deliveries most of the time, mm -hmm. I'm the one, I'm the HR, I'm the one dealing <laughs> with the employees. So I really needed God to, to help me out. And one of mm -hmm. the ways I wanted him to help me was on the socials. Because in this age we are living in, you really want to, to take advantage of social media. You want to do your marketing on social media. And I, I really was praying about it. And what God did was when we joined our church, he, I started serving in mm. church. And before I started serving, I, I was debating on whether to join the worship team because I sing okay. or to join the creatives ministry, which is now, which deals with branding, marketing, social media. And I prayed about it. And I remember wow. God giving me a confirmation to join. I, I was so sure I was going to join the worship team, <laughs> but he said, join the creatives department. Mm. And it is in this serving that I have learned how to do posters, for my business mm -hmm. videos better better because i was doing it but i didn't know this i didn't have the skill set so by interacting with people on on the team who are really good who are really professional mm -hmm. i've learned and for me that's really divine wow. you know that's a divine connection mm -hmm. um another thing is god getting me to understand that i need to learn how to build rapport with um like my suppliers because in that moment for yeah. that debt management phase mm -hmm. i was also having i was in debt to our suppliers and i remember one particular supplier who I just, we had a rapport and I, I, I really prayed and I was like, God, I need you to help us deal even as we tried to get out. Uh, we were owing him around 56,000 wow. Kenya mm -hmm. shillings. So we sat down and I told him, listen, and, and I really, I feel like I came with an authority and a, a confidence that could only have been from God. Okay. And I told him, listen, mm -hmm. imagine you're, you're just going to hold my hand. <laughs> you're going to walk through this journey with me like your sister uh -huh. until my business begins to thrive like yours. Remember, this is a person Confidence. you owe money. Mm. Yes, you <laughs> owe Confidence. money. And <laughs> Steph, I can tell you today, there's a way to speak to people and they yeah. hear the voice of God. Wow. There's a way to, and there's a way that God causes men to honor you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To speak directly to the heart. He, yes. And he sat me down and we had a conversation and he told me how he does his business. So at the end of that conversation, I was no longer going to be his customer because he mm -hmm. showed me how he does the business okay. to make costs uh, cheaper. Mm -hmm. So I was going to start getting my supplies elsewhere. So mm -hmm. you can imagine that. Yeah, and he allowed it. And that is how <laughs> we were able to now uh, start doing that and then pay him back. Wow. You know, at the end of about two to three months, we were able to pay him back. Mm -hmm. Divine connectivity. Um, another person, uh, was our chicken supplier who when we started off the business I used to have to purchase my chickens from like supermarkets and then now I, I, I sell to mm -hmm. my clients which was not very cost effective Active. for us yeah mm -hmm. so because of, of rapport and because of, of favor for sure mm -hmm. one of the people who was working in that supermarket left and he was able to connect me to their supplier <laughs> so now i get it you know wow. direct yeah so that's Divine what connection yes that's really what networking is about mm -hmm. yeah and um just having god guide us speak mm -hmm. to us lead us tell us this is the next place like now we know where our next branch will be and what it will be just be, by way of being spending time in prayer wow. and, and with mm -hmm. god i couldn't do business mm -hmm. um without god Wow. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> what would you say? I, I wouldn't want us to finish this conversation yeah. without you sharing some insights that you'd mm -hmm. want a small, someone who's just starting business yeah. uh, to, to learn about, to pick from all the lessons that yeah. you've taken. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so first and foremost, for sure, um, rely on God. He is mm -hmm. really 
really the, the one and only person who person who will mm -hmm. uh, who he, he 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 literally changes the trajectory of our lives and he's reliable in every aspect of your business mm -hmm. every aspect of it whether it's finances whether it's gaining skill set whether it's gaining connectivity mm -hmm. like my, my my whole story tells it um understand the understand try and network with people who are in the in the business yes. with uh -huh. you i think i did that after instead mm -hmm. of doing it before uh do your research if you're trying to get into a certain area uh find people who you can talk to people who who can guide you people who can walk with you people who can tell you don't do this do this mm -hmm. um be accountable yeah um maybe you're doing business alone but find a way to to be accountable um if it's maybe something like not even mixing your monies have a separate Account. account for each that's a form of accountability if mm -hmm. you're doing it alone if you're doing it with a partner make sure there are systems in the bank we used to call it maker checker you you're making and then the, the other person is checking and it's not one person making and checking okay. because so that we don't have issues of integrity and we also have issues so that we are also addressing accountability and mm -hmm. good reporting okay. um what else what else Bookkeeping. What else? Bookkeeping. Yes. Do your books. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm in a space where I'm learning how to, like one of the other things I, that God has taught me is to wake up early in the morning so that I'm able to cover uh, the things that I need to do. And one of those things is bookkeeping because mm -hmm. the volatility of, of the industry I'm working with, it's very detailed. So when I'm, in, when I'm inputting things into the system, it's one by one. So if I miss a day, mm -hmm. I start accumulating. I start okay. accumulating, yeah. So be diligent, be consistent, do your books every single day if you can. Okay. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Mm. Are there particular skills mm -hmm. needed for an entrepreneur? Mm, yes, for sure. Um, we have, other than the soft skills, you know, being able to handle uh, clients because your customers are what are going to make your business run. If you, mm -hmm. if you don't know how to deal with clients, if you don't know how to deal with uh, uh, feed, feedback and complaints if you don't have compensation systems and structures in place where a customer has been grieved mm -hmm. um, you, you wouldn't know how to uh, your business wouldn't really run effectively um, the, 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 the other skills um, social media learn how to use the socials um, bookkeeping know how to how to balance your books how you're reconciling have systems where if you have employees on the ground, you're able to, even if you're not there, you're able to monitor mm -hmm. uh, what is happening and then so that we don't have uh, gaps and loopholes. Okay, yes. amazing. Thank yes. you very much, Karamu, yes. for coming Thank on board you. and sharing with us Thank your you. journey Thank and you. amazing insights. We definitely wish you the best Thank in you your so journey. Much. Thank you. All right. So, yeah. Where can people find you on your social media? This is your camera. Okay. So on the socials, we are um, Naipanoi Cats. We are Naipanoi Cuckoo House. Uh, we are on Instagram, we're on TikTok, we are on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're not yet on YouTube, <laughs> you <laughs> but should. soon to be. Yes, so that's us on the socials. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. Mm, thank you. Uh, all right, so we close the show at mm. that. We've been talking about capital and debt management, uh, joined by Karam.